Okay, here we are, Friday. <laughs> jeans day, blue jeans day. <laughs> so, picked a card again. You ready for this? It says, if you have children, what approach would you take to teaching them about faith? Bible says over and over again, you know, teach your children about the Lord. There's going to be a generation, and this is just what I've heard in my spirit or felt I've heard in my spirit. There's going to be a generation, and is now, growing up, and they're going to be asking questions. They're going to want to know so many things about God, and we need to be prepared. You know, um, for some reason this morning, I'm 75 years old, and I thought to myself, I know people that are 85 and 90. Barbara Walters, 93, just passed away. And I thought, <laughs> at 75, I got 15-something years, you know, to go. And I'm thinking I'm at the end of my life, you know, sometimes. and But um, you never know what's ahead of you, you know. Keep learning. Keep digging. Keep searching. God has something for you. And so um, I'm in Isaiah 49. <clears throat> and this is about, in my heart, I've been thinking... I'm not sure why, but, uh, well, I heard it on TV. I like to watch TV and it gives me thoughts and ideas, you know, and I think about it and, and the Holy Spirit maybe downloads other stuff. So I'm thinking, you know, vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. And I learned that back in the seventies, thank God, you know, when, uh, I was newly married and this company came against us and tried to mess us up with, steal some money from us and everything. And, and that company went out of business like within a month. <laughs> and over the years, I've just seen God taking care of my enemies. I've never had to, you know, um, I've never had to do what uh, to, you know, get back. I've never had to do that. In fact, if I ever even thought about it, or if I ever seen people do it, you know, um, it's kind of like God, it's sort of like God will say, okay, you know, you, you know, I'm done, you know. And so, um, Pray for your enemies, you know, because God doesn't want them to come against you, you know, and he will put them out of your way. Can it, it says, Isaiah 49, can a woman forget her nursing child and not have compassion on the son of her womb? Surely they may forget, yet I will never forget you. See, I have inscribed you on the palms of my hands, both. Your sons shall make haste, your destroyers and those who laid you waste shall go away from you. Lift up your eyes, look around and see. All these gather together and come to you. As I live, says the Lord, you shall surely clothe yourself with them all as an ornament. And then over here in uh, 25, it says, For I will contend with him who contends with you. You don't got to worry about, you know, what people say or do. And, you know, you don't have to fight your enemies. God does all the battling, you know. Uh, years ago, uh, I had a friend that had a Jeep, and he had this metal thing in front of the Jeep, and they called it a bushwhacker. <laughs> it was called a bushwhacker so that when you, he went through the bushes and the trees and the forest or whatever, you know, this thing would just, like, clear the bushes away out so that he could run his Jeep through there. And I, <laughs> for some reason, I thought, you know, the Lord is my bushwhacker. I've been calling him my bushwhacker all these years since like the 80s. <laughs> he goes before us in the presence of our enemies. He anoints our head with oil. Our cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. So I'm going to end this up with um, the Lord God has given me the tongue of the learned that I shall know how to speak. A word in season to him who is weary. He awakens me morning by morning. He awakens my ear to hear as the learned. The Lord God has opened my ear, and I was not rebellious, nor did I turn away. Get up in the morning or, you know, find a time to get with him and get into the word. You know, it's a mirror. And I heard that again today. I think Andrew Walmack said it. You know, the, the, the Bible is a mirror. You know, we look if we look in the physical mirror, we don't, you know, we see all these problems and issues and whatever but when we look in the bible and it, it's a mirror of who we are in the spirit it connects our spirit with the spirit of god you know the uh, in the beginning was the word and the word was god and the word was with god and the word became flesh and dwelt among us so the word is alive when you're reading the bible it speaks to your spirit which means it has life and it connects with your spirit so it, it is a mirror. It's a mirror of your spirit. 
and it just works its way into your soul. <laughs> I love you guys. Have a great weekend. I'll see you later. Jesus loves you so much more. Stick with him, okay? Bye.